just walking around the back of the farm because oh, it's public access so that's the that's the back of the farm the barns and um, it's been modernized quite a lot so we're going to look at the next bit which is this this is a Norman castle what would be called a Mott and Bailey castle so if you imagine we had the um, Bronze Age people living here the Iron Age people living here the next people to come were the Normans and obviously Normans built stone castles but when they first arrived due to lack of resources they would basically dig a massive boundary ditch pile the earth up in the middle and then build a small wooden castle on the top as defence so this man-made motte dates back to the 13th century when Trellet was a large town walled by a Norman lord. A wooden castle was built on top and below was the bailey where the soldier's hut stood. It was surrounded by a fence and moat and may have stood for most of the century before being destroyed in a Welsh attack. So let's go and have a little look. Just open the gate. So... As you can see, there's the, the boundary ditch. Let's go and have a little walk up to the top. Obviously over the years, people walking up it, it's, it's eroded, so it would have been a lot bigger back in the day, as we say. Try not to slip. Okay, good. There's an old ancient folklore that if anybody digs into this mound, they'll be struck down by lightning. So, this is now the top of the castle. You get an idea, you get a quite a good view of what's going on around you. So, that's looking towards where the three standing stones are. That's looking into the village. That's looking to over where the well was. We'll pan around. And then we have the fantastic Norman church, which we'll go and have a look at next. <laughs> 